Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I just wanna, I have just a quick video I wanna make. You know how talkative I can be sometimes, but anyway, I have it in my mind to make my video quickly, but I hope I'm not gonna be long. Anyway, this is the subject. Um, you know, if you remember, uh, I talked to you about um, a situation when I was young that I remember I saw um, it was happening when I went uh, early in my age, was, uh, when I left my country, well, I was probably 11 years old. Then I was very young, you know, there are things that you don't really see. So after that, around my 12 years, uh, 12 years, uh, 13 years old, I don't know if I, I told you, I remember I saw a cultural thing, I don't know if it's cultural, but it's something that I saw in that African country, like Pina, Pina, Republic of Pina. And uh, I have to admit that uh, that practice, I don't know if it's really cultural, and I was really curious to know where it's coming from. Because um, I explained to you that um, there was a little girl who was working for my host family, and as she was working, she, I don't know if she was paid for that work, which I don't, I don't think. And yeah, and in Africa, you have to be honest on that. Huh? You really have to be honest on that, especially the West part of Africa. That culture of child labor is real, okay? Of child labor is real. And really, it makes me a lot, it makes me really uncomfortable. We don't have it in my country. We don't have it, but it starts spreading because when you know when people come with their culture and they live in your country, for example, they bring that culture in your country. And I don't know why, for some reason, um, people see the child labor in Africa, and it doesn't make people uncomfortable uh, to see that. And I told you that there was a little girl who was uh, working, and she uh, was in the host family. She was doing chores that. Other people was do was supposed was supposed to do uh, washing the dishes. I mean, when I talk about the dishes, it's not small dishes. It's like you have a complete family of children, mother, father. Sometimes you have guests. Sometimes you have, you know. And she was working like that. She was doing the laundry, you know, washing with your hand with her hands, clothes, and she was. Uh, she was doing almost, I mean, she was doing everything. She was also cooking. Imagine she was only probably eight years old, you know, and I was young when that thing happened. I saw it and I'm telling you, it really marked me. I don't know if my brother saw it in a way that I saw it, but it, it really marked me a lot. And I remember one day, I told you in my previous video that one day, that girl was sitting on the uh, next to the wall. There was a school next to the wall because I wasn't staying there every time because I was going to the dormitory. At, uh, well, we were going, my brother and I. But then uh, when I was going there for holidays to my host family, you know, uh, it was a different culture from the one I come from, to be honest. They were more traditional at the time. I'm talking about the 90s early 90s at the time and they were very kind of traditional still you have to understand um, the political power at the time but it was still something that I really have questioned so the girl was standing next to the wall and she was hearing uh, and listening I don't know if say listening hearing the children going to school because she was forbidden to go to school eight years old years old a little girl and she was learning the alphabet through the wall. I mean, when the kids were singing the alphabet, she would say that, A, B, C, she was singing like that. And I always remember that scene, and it marked me so much. I never forgot that. That girl was also sent to the market. When I talk about the African market, a little girl, you sent her to the African market. Imagine what it means, how dangerous it was. You know, pedophilia is real, okay? Uh, it's a real situation that is real. But child labor, okay? And I fell into a video recently, and I thought that that practice was kind of over as we are, 
you know, we are moving you know, forward in the years, but you still see that there are people in Africa, especially this west part of Africa, and that video came from Togo, I think, there were kids that were beaten physically by the host mother. I mean, I don't think it was, it, well, they said they are hosts, but actually what I heard, because I was really curious to know how this system worked, it seems like, I mean, I went online and I saw some comments, it seems like these kids are coming from villages and the parents are like having a hope that the child will be going to school by the way the people who come to somehow adopt them and when these kids go to town they are used for all these activities i don't know if it's really what they if it's really every time the same case but i think the parents when they send them to town they were they are told that they will be helping but then we also have opportunity, which is not true at all. Okay, it's not true at all. And um, and that girl, one day I was sitting um, uh, outside because I, I, I never saw that, you know, it really marked me. I, In my country, we are not perfect, but there are things that we don't know as a culture. I will say we were, we in the nineties, we are already kind of liberal in a way. There are things that we don't, we didn't know. And I remember that when the the people of the countries like that were coming into my country and they were still practicing their culture, I don't know if it's very a part of that culture, but it seems like it's somehow a part of this culture or that culture. And, and yeah, and um, and I saw her. She was. Uh, washing her clothes, okay? 